Hi everyone, welcome to UI Developer. So in this video, we will be seeing another coding interpretation, which is related to uh, replace underscore with the space and capitalize the next word which is coming. So you can see here I have written the UI underscore dev underscore right. So output should be UI. Then I should be I should not be the capital. Let me do that. Uh, should be small one. Okay. So, so it will be like that. So UI. So will be UI underscore will replace with the space and whatever things comes after the whatever things comes after the capital uh, underscore it should be a capitalized. So this is the one and another one is the contact detail. So it should be capital C space capital B. So output should be like like this. So this question uh, I have seen this question in the Nagaro coding inter question. So they have their that uh, metal. Uh, metal website where they took uh, almost one plus hours coding inter questions and the uh, logical reasoning question and all English English related things. So over there, I found this question. So you, if you are preparing for the Nagaro as well, so you should prepare vice versa as well. So suppose if I do the input like this, so it should be like this. So how can I do that? So we will be seeing the vice versa condition in the next video. But in this, in this video, we will be try to uh, do this one. So let's create the function, the replace function. So let me replace. Let me create an arrow function. Okay. So we'll pass replace. It should be string. Okay. Now only I'm considering first one. So it should be having the Will be coming here. So now, uh, before before writing the uh, future uh, future coding, so we should think about what are the things we have to cover over here. So it is string. Okay. So we need to split this string to the array and get the index of the it, and then only we can do the uh, concatenation and all. So uh, considering before this, so we can do one thing. We can get uh, create forms. We can create a letter as well, but it would be the better practice to, to create a cost variable for the event. So if it, if you are not reassigning anything to it, so we can do the fragments. It will be returning yes, we are dot split. We will be splitting with underscore. Okay. So it will give us the array of it. Let me print it. Okay, so it will create an error for us. So you can see here UI underscore dev underscore. Sorry, UI dev right. So it has written like this. Now, now what we have to do every index of it, we will make it as a uppercase and another thing we will contact. So now what we have to do here, let me write it. So we need a loop over here, loop with Loop to iterate the each value of fragments. Okay. Then next thing will be uh, make the first letter as a char as a capitalize. Make cap first letter. Okay. Then we need to concat the rest of the string. Suppose if we consider dev, so D will be capital like this, and E and V should be concat to it. So for that, what we can do. Uh, what we can write, we can use a slice for that. So if you pass slice word, so it would take the first index of that string to till end. We'll see that. Okay. So concat, con Okay. So spending okay. So, step. Okay. So now we'll loop this one first. We can use any for let me for later.
Okay. So now we have this one and it will return the first character, uh, first value like this. So first index will be, it will return. Let me print here. So it will print like this. Okay. First index, second index and third index. So now what we can do, we need to contact them. Okay. So in the for loop, we can create, uh, we can use uh, that fragment only. So we can do fragments of i volume. Can do like this. Here. All right, zero. So it will return your first one. So this one. Now we have to get it, and we need to do a purchase to offer. So now it will be what it does, uh, what it is doing right now. So uh, it will return this this first one, U I only. Okay. So what we are doing right now, we are taking the first index, first character from L as a U, and we are making it as a uppercase. Now what we have to do, we need to concat the rest of the string. For that, what we can do, we can take this fragment again, add here, fragment of I index and we can do slice can pass one over here to take the first thing okay so it will take on the first now this fragment we will get okay so if I print it now here you can see me the first index of the camera okay. so you can see this now so it converted as a capital U capital D capital G now after this what we can do we need output like this in, instead of printing the array so for that again we will join that fragment dot join with your space okay so now it will print or we can become let me think it like this. So we can actually instead of returning and printing over here on that. If you see now, so this is how we can do this one. So if you pass this another string, so you can get the same expected behavior. So we can pass like this contact and just hold it. Okay. So UI divide and context details. So the expected. So things over here, what we are doing over here. So first we are splitting the array. Okay, so yes, it array. With the underscore. We are splitting this array first, then we are looping to it, taking first index of it then making it uppercase and the rest of string we are joining it so that's it and after this uh, we are making that uppercase as a array then again we need to join so this is how you uh, we can uh, do this one so let me know if you have any doubt or any things uh, you are getting as a in the inter question but you are not able to solve so you can connect on the instagram page so we can help you over there as well so you have to tell me so what is the difference between fragment dot length over here writing or if I do like this will create a array. okay so if I do like this so if I write the fragments dot length over here so what is the difference between this and this if I write directly fragment dot length here then what internally it does and if i create a variable over here and if i try to access that variable directly so do comment if you know about it so let me know if you have any comments so bye bye keep learning